first task was to come find my glasses from yesterday. I don't know if you can see them in the camera, but they're right there. So let's go in and get them. Ooh. A little deeper than what I thought right there, actually. All right, and we got them. Here at this local creek, I think it's Sharp Mountain Creek. Could be wrong, but there's a sign up there at the bridge. I'm gonna do a little bit different video today other than kayaking. I know we've been on the kayaking kick a lot lately, but it is summertime and that's what we do during the summer. But uh, I ordered this gear like right when the kids got out of school this year with the intentions of being able to take the kids and do this and every time we go out we somehow something happens and we end up getting canceled so actually if you look back here at the sky it looks like it's going to get us again today uh, we can hear thundering off in the distance the wind's picking up but here's some of the gear that i got we got this metal detector um it's good underwater up to 100 feet we got this snorkel mask and when I bought the snorkel mask, I thought it was a good investment, um, but I've done a little bit of more research and it seems like maybe the best way to go is goggles. And then I've got um, this guy here. This is a magnet um, with 75 feet of rope. Um, and then I keep extra rope over there. So if I need to go more than 75, I can connect it. And then we've got two little mesh bags this bag actually came the snorkel mask came in it but it's it's perfect for like a little treasure bag it velcros opens right up and uh, the water drains out and then this is a bag i had from something else i don't even know what but uh it's also mesh so the water drains out and of course i've got some gloves here got four or five more pairs of gloves inside of this magnet box some trash bags got a couple straps um, to help keep up with all the gear so the idea is is we're gonna walk down into the water here and then it's probably if i had to guess from here to the corner down there probably half a mile um walking the creek all the way down to the bridge and uh, we actually stopped on the bridge earlier and looked over the side to see if there was anything in the water and we couldn't see anything from looking up above and down um and you would think that you could so <clears throat> we don't know if we're going to find anything or not probably um whatever we do find will be all trash which is fine cleaning up the river but uh the problem is we don't live anywhere close to where people do a lot of tubing so I mean, we know people come here and play in the water. I've seen people here before, but that doesn't mean that they've lost cell phones or rings or, I mean, really anything that would be, it'd be kind of cool to find. Um, not looking just for those specific things, but. So we're gonna, I'm gonna switch you guys over to the chesty mount and we're gonna get in the water and see what we can find. All right, so we've made it down into the creek. The water's pretty chilly, but not unbearable. Oh, I got a lot of I've seen a couple things right off the rip right here. Let's see. Back up, bro. Looks like maybe just a rock, but I can't be for sure. Let's see. Yep. Found a seashell. And Charlie's found some shells. I've seen some shells over here too. Now we have to walk. Uh, 
surprisingly and surprisingly enough the river looks pretty clean of trash I'm not really finding a whole lot what is it kiddo it's a shell wow huh that's pretty cool yeah. that's a big shell cool put it in your bag good job What did you find? You found the shell too. That one does look cool. Put it in the Heck bag. Yeah, put it in your bag, kiddo. I like how fine too. You definitely tell people it's been down here digging. That was a drop off. There's some trash, kiddos. Water's moving along pretty good, ain't it? Look, I see something big over there on that side. Is that a bucket? Looks like it might be a bucket. Just keep an eye out when you get next to the side of the bank like that. Just look above the branches above and make sure there's no nest. Be nest and make sure there ain't no snakes hanging out. Yep, that's a bucket. Let's see if we can get that sucker out of there. Here, hold this one. I don't know, it's full, it's heavy. Let's see. Ceiling compound. It doesn't even look like it's been opened. It's pretty solid, so I'm betting that's probably still what it is. All right, we'll leave that there. We'll leave that there until we hike back up. We'll try to grab this chair out of here. That's not too tangled up in the root ball. Watch for critters. Yep, who knows where the rest of it is. This thing's been in the water for a while, it looks like. So we'll... I'll set this. We'll set this chair on this rock right here and we'll grab it on the way back through. It's 
put this metal detector to use here. I see some metal right there. Let's see if it works. Yep, it's hitting. You want to get that piece of metal right there? See it? That's the rock. Hold on, give it a second to clear out again. Let's see if we can pick it up with a metal detector. Right there, right up under the metal detector. Good job. What does it look like? Looks like a old tuna can. Let me see, be careful with it. This is why we wear gloves. Yep, but let's see. All right, cool. Got your shoes in there? Yeah. All right. One step closer to the bridge. Not in the bank? Yeah. We'll grab it on the way back. We'll walk this. We'll finish from here out. We'll walk down this side until we get to the bridge and then we'll turn around and come up this side. Looks like it gets pretty deep, doesn't it? Yeah, I like that. <laughs> Look, I found something big over here. What? I found something big over here. <laughs> Looks like a... Yep, a big old pan. Look how much. They're not sure what, too sure what happened, but oh no. Did your GoPro die? I think it's dying. So this battery might be messed up. Change the batteries, and it seems like it's working better. Want to buy some new batteries? That's the second battery I've had go bad. I'm only down to two now. But I ain't gonna cut it. Okay, wasn't there something in the water right here that we were looking at above? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh, you know what I think it was? It looked like a bottle or something. It was blue. It was down at the other side. No, it's right here. I think it's a rock. This got algae growing on it. Oh. Right there. Let me get it. I'm pretty sure it's just a, yeah, it's just a rock. Rapids! Let's go! I'll go before the GoPro started messing up. I had actually found this big piece of metal laying in the water right up there somewhere. So, we're going to carry it on back. And then we're going to grab... The broken chair and the bucket of stuff that we found and uh, get them out of the creek Found another piece of metal. That looks, like a looks like something to a car, but I can't be for sure. Yeah. Either way, you don't need to be in the river, so we'll carry her on back. Yep. Oh, yeah. Look down in the water right here, something white. Pulled up this uh, jawbone. Looks like maybe a deer but i'm not 100 percent sure it's been here for a while yeah i just got my
Okay, so we've made it back to the truck and basically we went from right here all the way down to the very corner down there. There's a bridge that I talked about in the beginning of the video. We went to the bridge just a little past the bridge and uh, we didn't really find any treasure, um, but we found a couple of cool things. Um, Probably the coolest things are these shells. Um, Charlie and Thor each found one um, in the bottom of the river. So each of them found one. And then I found this old jawbone. And I think it's probably to a deer, but I can't be 100% certain. And then Charlie found this. We think this is a piece of marble um it's been broken up here but it needs to be cleaned up a little probably with some bleach and stuff but i think this is a big piece of marble what and then we found i don't know thor's obsessed with rocks so he keeps keeping all these rocks and then some trash and then we and then charlie we got the chair it was washed up in the root ball on the side um this piece of metal on the ground there looks like maybe a the roof rail or like a door sill or something from an old car that big chunk of metal was laying like that in the river and you can see where it was all green um and then this big bucket of um some kind of sealing poly polymeric sealing compound i'm not sure it's extremely heavy so i'm wondering if maybe it was supposed to be a liquid and then it's been in contact with the water so it's hardened and created like a hard compound in there i don't know it took me a little bit to carry it up the river it's pretty heavy but uh so i think i'm not sure we might stop at another area or two and see um i have a couple other like bridges in mind that we could stop at and kind of check looks like bluff creek and there ain't really much of nothing here to look at so onward we go all right guys so we've made it back to the house we decided to um bring it on back we're starting to get some pretty gnarly looking thunderheads coming in. So, um, you've seen the one little bridge that um, we drove by, Buff Creek. Uh, we actually stopped and looked at two more bridges that I didn't film, um, but basically they were the same thing. Just little small mountain tributaries. Not really a whole lot going on with them. Maybe a couple beer cans or something, but wasn't even really worth us trying to find a spot to park on the side of the road to make an effort to climb down the bank and then, you know, pick the stuff up. So told my kiddos that maybe um, the next time I'm off for a few days, we'll try to find somewhere that's a pretty popular area and go do a little bit of treasure hunting in that area. But um, also we don't really mind doing these smaller mountain tributaries. It's actually, kind of uh you get a rewarding feeling from it knowing that you've been in the river and so like today we did a half a mile to a mile of river and we cleaned up that whole section which i was actually very surprised it was already clean but we cleaned up the rest of that area and uh made it look pretty well we even cleaned up around the parking area a little bit and so i just wanted to show you guys one more time um everything that we found between the river and the parking area and uh 
give you all a little bit more of a look here. So Thor found these big rocks um, here, this guy and this guy, a couple small rocks. Um, again, the kids found these cool shells. Um, I don't know what kind of shells they are. Looks like they've been in the water for quite a while. Um, and then I found this piece of metal. Originally, I thought it might have been like a part of a roof rack to a car, maybe an old car, but I'm actually not sure. Some tin foil was found on one of the islands. Um, this was actually found, I seen it in the water, then I used my metal detector um, to see if it was metal, and it, and it was. So uh, this was found at the parking area. This was found at the parking area, bush light. This big piece of metal was actually found down by the bridge. Um, I was having some issues with the GoPro. Uh, it was overheating and it was doing a split screen. And so I had to stop and change the batteries and stuff. Um, so didn't really get to see it on camera, I don't think. But uh, so it was found just a little ways up from the bridge and it was face, it was like this in the water. So from the top, it just looked like a rock, but I actually bent down and grabbed it and picked it up. Ended up being a piece of metal. Been in there for a minute. Um, you can see the rust here. Then not just before we found this guy, I found the chair up in a root ball on the tree. Um, I walked up, ended up pulling it out. Found this guy over on the side of the bank, kind of uh, near a strainer. And uh, at first I thought maybe it was open and it was taken, it was just being held under by water, but um, it turns out that it, it's actually not been opened at all. It's completely sealed, but there's something in there. It looks like a single component polymeric sealing compound, which I'm not even really sure um, what it is. It's combustible liquid harmful if ingested keep out of reach of children professional use only five gallons um causes skin and eye irritation harmful if and in, if inhaled suspected of damaging fertility or unborn child may cause organ damage so it seems like whatever is in that five gallon bucket is probably pretty dangerous and so i'm not even going to bother opening it um i'm just going to take it and throw it away at the dump um and then this uh so i found this jawbone on the hike back up i seen just this white piece in the water bend down pick it up and this is what i got out um pretty cool I don't know what it is from looks like maybe a deer is my best guess but it, i guess it could be from any number of animals and then this is probably the coolest or maybe the best find of the trip i don't know exactly what it is it looks like a piece of marble um the bottom is kind of rough the top is smooth um and then you can see here where it's been broken at some point um clearly a break but um it makes me think of marble but i'm not 100 percent sure um could be quartz um i don't know but charlie found that one on the hike back up so she's gonna do a little bit of work maybe scrub it down with some bleach and get it cleaned up um other than that that will that's gonna be it for today's video so i hope you guys enjoyed that um and we will be going to some other local areas doing the same thing cleaning out the riverbeds seeing if we can find any cool stuff so y'all be sure to uh, follow along and we will bring you more content like this thanks guys catch you on the next one